Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Mark Bruce with Fitcher and Performance. And today I'm going to talk about how speed starts at the feet. Um, so the feet are very important. It's something that I talk a lot about with my athletes and um, even parents and coaches, because if you look at the foundation, if you think of like how a house is built, um, you know, the house is built from the ground up, you know, that basement's dug the first, second, third, whatever it's going to be, um, or an apartment complex, whatever it might be. It's always started. It's always built from the ground and then built up. So here with the feet, you know, I have a few images. Um, this is just to highlight, you know, if you look at the foot and ankle, you know, there's a ton of muscles, joints, bones. Um, it, so that means that it has to be important. Um, so when you have foot pain or you're noticing that you're not as explosive as you'd like to be, you know, is it because your quads aren't strong? Is it because you just don't have that explosive explosiveness like LeBron James, or maybe it's because your feet are off. So this is where you can question the footwear you're, you're using, um, the cleats, you know, all that kind of stuff, because all that can affect how your performance, um, how your performance is because your feet play a huge role, huge role with all the boy, the bones and joints and muscles that surround the foot, which will then trickle up the kinetic chain. Next, when we think about, you know, what your feet can do, you have three areas of your foot. You have your, you have your rear foot, your midfoot and your forefoot. So you have to strengthen all of those areas in order to perform at a reasonable level. If you're someone that's always on your medial foot, which which is the, the front of your foot, you know, your toes, your tippy toe walker, that's going to affect how you you move and how you feel, because you can't live on one part of your body your whole life. You're eventually going to have some type of asymmetry, some injury, some movement impairment. And this is where we train, because if you notice in the medial part of the foot, you have that medial or the forefoot you have the medial part and the lateral part right so the lateral part is going to be the outside the medial is going to be the inside same thing with the midfoot you have an inside and you have the outside same thing with the rear foot so your foot has these different functions that are going to help you improve your performance so it's important that you train those and then next you know we have this idea of uh how you strike and with this, if you can see this image, you have your rear foot, your midfoot, and your forefoot strike. So that's important to understand when you're sprinting, cutting, when you're stopping. You have to be able to have contact with all three points, whether you're a cross-country runner, a track and field sprinter, um, anything like that. So this is just giving you an overview of essentially what should happen when you walk, when you run, when you're landing. Your foot should be contacting the ground in a certain way. And if it's not, something is going to go wrong in the kinetic chain. So just here's a few videos of some high level players. And if you if you notice Kyrie and if you notice that foot, look at his back foot, look at that angle of that foot, which is going to help him create a better angle as he blows by Isaiah Thomas. You know, so when you see these basketball players, these football players, and then here's another video, you know, of Emmett Smith, one of the all time greatest running backs. Look at the angle he's able to create. And then watch what his foot does. If you can see this, look at what his foot does. Look at how aggress aggressive that angle is when he cuts hard. So you have to have the foot strength so he can continue going in that lateral direction so he can change direction in that horizontal vector. So he's able to change direction and then rechange direction so he can go to the destination, go to where he wants to go. So that's why the foot is so important. And so what are the muscles that we really try to strengthen? Well, here's an image of the gastroc, the soleus, the Achilles tendon. This is where a lot of that energy is going to be stored. So if you don't have stiffness in this area, well, you're going to be limited as far as what you are able to do. So this is where, you know, we see slow athletes where their heel gets stuck on the ground. And this is, uh, you know, identifying that they have weak Achilles tendon, weak soleus, weak gastroc. They can't stiffen this area up to give them that spring and that pop so overall you know the feet are super important the feet play a huge role don't just go into the weight room and train squats deadlifts upper body you know train the feet because it's going to help you get to the next level and reduce injuries
So this is these are some of the movements that we do at the gym in order to improve that. So this this isn't these aren't all the exercises that you can do, but these are just a few. So a lot of this is done in our prep work for some athletes who are coming just off of a season. We might this might be their only performance movement, but here's just a single leg um, a lateral hop. You know, we use a line and we just go really fast. And if you notice on this movement here, right, the goal. If you notice in my heel, note so here my heel's off the ground, and even though it doesn't, well, let's go to let's go back a little bit. But even it doesn't notice it, but you want your heel slightly off the ground on these movements. And that's going to help, you know, strengthen that midfoot. You don't want to be on that forefoot because you could be too forward, too, you know, too top heavy, so to speak, when you're cutting or sprinting. So you want to make sure that you're strengthening that midfoot. And another movement that we'll do in the prep work is going to be just a, you know, barefoot low level pogos. All this is stiffening the bottom of the feet, strengthening the feet. And we're just going left to right, left to right. You can do this forward. You can do this in you can do your skip series bad barefoot, but remember we're trying to strengthen the, the the forefoot, the midfoot, the rear foot. We're trying to strengthen the arches. We're trying to strengthen the toes because that's what's going to control you in movement. Um, a staple one we do in in our programs are just some pogo hops. You know, really trying to spring. And if you notice the limited, let's go back a little bit. If you notice the limited. A limited knee flexion, right? You're not noticing my hips go really far back like you would in a squat. You know, that is going to be where I'm going to get that force and energy is going to be from the, the calves, the gastroc, the soleus, and the Achilles tendon. So that's why you have to, that's why you have to strengthen it. Um, so this is a pogo. You can do this on one foot, two feet. You can do it with the, with the resistance bands for assistance. Um, and then a favorite one of mine is going to be floating heel movements. So here you, you put your foot on a box, just your forefoot, and you just hold there because that's going to strengthen that position that you're trying to master from an athletic perspective. Now, the resistance band and the PVC pipe, that's all geared just to right, strengthen the upper back. It's geared to really help turn on the, you know, the, the left side of my body so I'm not swinging left to right. So you can, you can increase. In, you can make it harder depending on your athlete. For some, a lot of my younger athletes, you know, I just want to make sure that they can hold the split squat in this position before I add any other constraints to make it a little more challenging. And then once you go down that um, progression, this is when we start to introduce, you know, our plyometrics. Um, and let me just change where my face is. And then here, right, we're trying to get off the ground as quickly as possible. And you notice that limited knee flexion. So this is where you will have, um, you know, using the Achilles and the gastrox to really get you up on the box. And then, you know, we intensify it. We make it harder by balancing on one leg to improve coordination. Um, so again, this is just a hurdle hop to a box jump. Just one of our plyometric progressions to help our athletes um, learn how to get off the ground quick, improve their tendon health, as well as strengthening and stiffening their tendons. So those are the movements we'll use to help um, strengthen feet improve tendon, tendon strength, um, and so on and so forth.